guys, welcome back to my channel. Ah! Oh my God, I am so freaking happy to finally be able to film this and publicly be able to say that I am pregnant. I'm sorry if I ran out of breath. I just had a big old dinner. Run out of breath so quickly. Like pregnant women out there, if you've ever been pregnant, you know the struggle. I freaking like run out of breath so easily. I'm like, <gasps> like all this freaking time. But I am here to just talk about my little journey so far i know the main reason why y'all are here which i'm going to talk about is why i hid my pregnancy for as long as i did and i'm going to tell you guys why i have a lot of reasons but i will get to them but first things first i am so so beyond happy that i am finally sharing with you guys that i am pregnant um i'm sure you guys probably already knew like i was never trying to like keep it this big dark secret like I'm gonna hide it from everyone <laughs> like that was not my intention it was just so special to me and my family and my boyfriend and it was just such a private personal thing for me that I just decided uh, for many reasons which I will talk about that it was better if I just kept it private for a little bit um, just until I could no longer hide it because the belly bump is super big but let me give you a little bump date uh, this is the little bump. Yeah, this is me. Can you guys see the curve? Yas queen. I'm not gonna tell you guys how far along I am. You guys have to try and figure it out because y'all are some FBI detectives. <laughs> the FBI should hire a whole bunch of you. So comment down below how far along you think I am. And also, I do know the gender, you guys. I know the gender! I'm not gonna announce it just yet. Don't hate me, okay? It's because I have like a lot of videos, so I have to like slowly upload them, you know? But guess the gender, try to guess the gender, comment down below what you think the gender is. I'm already out of breath. I'm gonna start off by just kind of talking about how I found out I was pregnant. It was kind of crazy, like if I'm being really honest. It might be a little TMI, but I don't care. I'll go boo. <laughs> I tell you guys everything. Um, long story short, I was feeling some like funkiness down there, my girl parts, just like itchiness, like itchiness. And I've never really felt that type of itchiness before. And I got a little concerned, mama. I was like, mm, what's going on down there? Like, it's not a UTI because I've had a UTI before. So I was just like, what's going on? Like it's itchy. And I was trying like creams and like stuff to get rid of the itch. And I got a little concerned, if I'm being honest. I was just like, this is weird, this is fucking weird, this is weird, what do I have, what's going on down there? So I ended up going to the doctor and I was like, check me, I'm itchy down there. I've never been this itchy. There's something weird going on down there, please check. But I had no other symptoms at all besides just being itchy. Like my boobs didn't hurt, um, I wasn't nauseous, like no headaches, no nothing, like the symptoms that I had with Travis. So yeah, they run tests, they do blood work, whatever. And then they have me waiting and then I'm just like waiting in the little waiting room, like, oh, little crickets. And um, then she comes back and she just tells me like, okay, well, just want to let you know you're clean. You don't have anything. Like, you're good. Your blood work looks good. Everything's good. And I was like, what the? Like, why am I so itchy? And then she was just like, um, when was your last period? And like, I just thought it was like a typical question because they always ask. And I was like, oh, it was like back in like August, whatever. I gave her dates. I don't even remember when it was, but I gave her dates or whatever. Um, because I always keep it in my calendar. Um, and then she was just like very like chill. She was just like, you're pregnant. <laughs> like she was so chill about it. She's like, oh, you're pregnant. And I was like, hello? I was just like, excuse me? That was the last thing that I expected to come out of her mouth. Her telling me that I'm pregnant. I was just like, what? 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 Like, hello? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> like, I remember just being so confused. Like, I remember feeling my blood just rush to the top of my head and I was so hot. And I was like, like, how accurate are your tests, ma'am? Like, how accurate? I literally asked her and she was just like, oh, our tests are like 95% accurate. Like, over 95% accurate. And I was like, are you sure? Like, I was just so shocked. Like, in that moment, I could tell you my mind just kind of went blink and all I thought was like pregnant like I don't know <laughs> it was just so shocking to me that was the last thing I expected because like I said I had no symptoms like whatsoever so I did not expect that at all but then after like it kind of happened she just kept telling me like yeah you're pregnant blah 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 you're about this far along blah 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 and i was just like oh she ain't gonna damn it, it happened <laughs> and after like all of that just kind of went away i just started getting super super happy like i had so many emotions in that little 
doctor's room like I was in denial I was scared and then I got happy emotional I wanted to cry like I was beyond excited like after all of that passed I was just like holy shit like here we go again like I'm gonna be a mom again like I got so happy and I could not believe it you guys like I was literally shaking walking out of that room like I remember when they gave me my little paperwork and I was like oh my god I'm like walking around all happy I was so happy at that moment I wanted to tell the entire world um the first person that I called was my mom because like honestly I wanted to do like this cute little reveal moment like now I'm just like shit I should have like told everybody in such a cute way but like I was just so in the moment I got so excited and so nervous just like so many emotions I had to tell someone so I was like, oh my God, and I was like, my mom. So I called my mom. My mom was so shocked too. She's like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, mom, I'm burgers. And that same day she told my dad. Probably like two weeks later, I told Louie and then I told my sister. I was so excited to tell Alex that when I told him, I told him through FaceTime. And I was so upset because like, honestly guys, like I didn't even think about like, oh, cute review. I just wanted to tell him. Cause I was so freaking excited um and I ended up record I screen recorded because I was by myself when I told him I screen recorded the the FaceTime call but I'm so upset because there was no audio I didn't know that when you screen recorded like phone calls it doesn't save the audio so it literally has no audio but I have his little reaction he's just like ah, like are you serious are you serious honestly I am so freaking thankful to God that he put Alex in my path he is the most amazing human being on this planet. I love him very, very much. He is so sweet. He helped me get out of some of the darkest places in my life. And he's told me, and I've told him too, that sometimes I feel like he was like my little guardian angel sent from God because I was going through some really, really hard times. And when I needed somebody the most, that's when he came into my life. And he helped me in so many ways, like... Guys, when I said I was going through, I was going through it. But Alex just pulled me out of there. And I feel like that's why I started falling in love with him. Like, how could I not? He's literally, he's literally the sweetest human being on this planet. And I love that people can tell that off of him. Like, he just radiates so much amazing energy. Everyone that meets him is just like, oh my goodness. Like, he's such a sweet guy. Like, he gives the most amazing vibes. And I just feel like this really proved to me that everything happens for a reason. And God has a plan for you. And you just have to kind of trust it. Last year was crazy. Um, and I did not think anything amazing was going to happen to me. And then I found that out. And the moment that I found out I was pregnant with Alex's baby, just pregnant in general, I remember thinking like, okay, this is it. Like my life is finally gonna get better. Like my my life is finally gonna change. Like I was just so freaking happy, you guys. Well, now the big question that everybody's like, why did you end up pregnant? Why did you tell us? Um, there's actually quite a few reasons why I didn't tell y'all. All right. Well, so you know, a lot of people say wait until you're about three months to share your pregnancy just because oh miscarriage just happened. Oh my god, I. I hate talking about miscarriages, it just makes me so sad. But miscarriages do happen and they typically happen before you hit your three month mark. So that's something that I was super, super nervous about and I was just praying to God every day that, you know, my baby was healthy, that everything was gonna go good. And thankfully my pregnancy has been a piece of cake. It has been going super amazing and great. Um, but so I waited those three months and then kind of around the time that the three months or actually it was a little bit before the three months. There's a lot of nasty rumors going on about me on the Internet that really just kind of messed me up with my whole mental health. If you guys have been following me for a long time or you've heard. I'm sure you've heard. Um, I had a pretty traumatic experience happen to me in 2021. So um, that kind of triggered my mental health issues. It gave me a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, and I kind of suffered from that all of last year. Um, so it was really really hard and I feel like all the rumors and all the assumptions that were going on about me during The time that I found out that was that I was pregnant was just really really stressing me out so much um, And I did not want to be stressed out during my pregnancy um, with all of those assumptions that were going on I did try to kind of defend myself a little bit and kind of just straighten out the whole situation But social media is so scary. It's so toxic um, especially when there's so many like instigators out there that literally just try to make money off of your life and they try to make things so much worse and I just thought about everything and I was like no matter what I say people are not gonna believe me they're gonna believe all of the other rumors all of these instigators so I kind of felt defeated at that point I feel like 
at that point, like my word about my own life did not matter because I lived through the experience. I know what's going on. I know the truth. But even if I did spit out the whole truth, I still felt like nobody was going to believe me. Um, so at that point, I just felt like I was just going to lose that battle. And it just was not worth the stress for me. It just wasn't worth it for me. Like, I was like, you know what? It's the internet. People are going to say whatever they want. But because of that reason, I'm going to keep my pregnancy as private as I can for as long as I can. And honestly, it was such a good decision. I just kept it between me and my family. Um, and it was so precious to me because nobody knew about it. Um, it kind of sucked though how like there was a lot of people out there trying to expose my pregnancy. Um, it did kind of hurt me a little bit just because, you know, it's something so dear to me and my family. Um, and I just felt like it was such an invasion of privacy for somebody to literally go hunt my life and try to like expose me being pregnant. Like if it was like a bad thing or something. Um, and I was just literally enjoying my life, enjoying my pregnancy, but it's crazy how much people just really try to like make money off of your own life and people just want to start drama. But I, again, did not let it get to me. I was just like, you know what? I knew assumptions were going to come up. Like it's kind of impossible to hide a pregnancy. Um, but I did what I could, you know, like I was like, I just won't talk about it. Like I'm still going to announce it when I'm ready. Like I knew that eventually it was going to come out or that rumors were going to come out just because it's like really hard to hide a pregnancy. Um, so there was a few little slip ups on my fault just because I'm, I'm an airhead, you guys. OK, like I did what I could. I know there was like a few little slip ups and I know some of you like figured it out. Um, like it wasn't supposed to be like this big old secret like it was definitely not supposed to be like that I was just not ready to talk about it just because I was enjoying it on my own in, in privacy with my family So I do not regret anything that I did. I am still beyond happy that I did what I did um, <laughs> But if I'm being honest the main reason why I was like, okay, it's time to talk about it to kind of It's finally time to announce that I'm pregnant one. I am in a way better place mentally um i am so happy in my relationship um everything is just going so amazing i just felt so much better about just my life in general everything has just been ups and it started getting freaking hot in socal out of nowhere and for the longest time i was just wearing big loose shirts and big hoodies to like try and cover up my bump because it started growing pretty quick quicker than with travis and I was like, oh no, ma'am, I cannot be doing this. Like, I remember I was shopping the other day, like last week, wearing this big ass hoodie. And I was like, Ugh! at the store. And I was like, I'm going to die. And I was like, I can't do this. And I'm not the type of person that can stay locked in my house for weeks, months. So I was like, I can't do this. So then I was like, it's time. <laughs> but I was just kind of waiting for the right time. You know, I never had it planned. Like, when am I going to announce it? Like, no, it was just kind of like, okay, I'm finally going to do it. I was just waiting for that, like, moment you know so that's why i took a little bit to tell you guys i don't regret anything at all i am so freaking happy with my choice i hope that answered the question as to why i hid my pregnancy for a little while from you guys um but i am so happy to finally share it and that i can talk about it and i'm just so happy and that i can wear whatever i want no more big hoodies because god damn, i was cucky <laughs> But I'm so freaking happy, you guys. I cannot wait to meet my baby. And I can't wait to like share my experience with you guys. I just want to film as much as I can. And I want to share as much as I can with you guys of what's left of my pregnancy. Because yes, I'm still pregnant. Some people were like, did you already have your baby? <laughs> no, I'm still very much pregnant. But yes, I am going to be making a few videos. Um, the only reaction that I did catch on video was Travis's. I made a whole video about when I told Travis that I was pregnant, so I can't wait to share that video. I also have my gender reveal video. I have all of that ready for you guys. Keep your eye out. I will be posting all of this soon. I'm just so excited. Ah! I can't wait to show you guys everything. But that is it for the video, you guys. Um, if you have any other questions for me down below, I can definitely make another video answering more questions. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. I am gonna be posting a lot on Instagram as well. So if you're not following me on Instagram, here is my Instagram. My TikTok is here too if you want to go following me. But I will see you guys next time I upload. I love you guys very much. Ah, I'm so happy that I finally told y'all. Okay, bye.